Good evening. Um, thanks for having me. Thanks for the invite. How are you doing? Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so me and Sam have been talking for, I, I think, I think we've been talking for a couple months about having you on and then life happens and, uh, things, you know, things happen. And finally I reached out, I think it was last week actually. And I said, Hey, you know, you want to come on the show and lo and behold, he said, yes, let's have you know, let's do that next Thursday. So here we are. Sam, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself and what it is you do? Um, well, most people would probably know me from um, book covers and album cover artworks that I do, um, which are usually of the darker sort of side of life that people would uh, generally call dark art, but I think that's a very pigeonhole term for it. Um, but yeah, I do book covers and album covers for bands, um, tour posters, merchandise, things like that. Previous clients have done work for Slayer, Rob Zombie, Rammstein, Filter, Ministry, the list goes on. Um, and I've done stuff for Clive Barker, Stanley, The X Files, um, and some of your more unusual clients uh, in the realms of The Unexplained with David Weatherly, Ken Gerhard, um, the Shannon LeGrow of Into the Fray, of course, um, and a whole host of others. Excellent. Now, give us a little background on what got you into sort of the more uncanny side of art. Oh, see, that's such a massive question because everyone can say, <laughs> well, um, you know, they've been into monsters since they were a kid and it's always been uh, fantasy movies and horror films and comic books and things. And that's a huge part of it. Um, but also growing up in England, um, I had the opportunity to visit a lot of museums and natural history museums mainly and so I was just fascinated by you know dinosaurs like most kids are but I used to be able to sit underneath them and draw and just draw for hours and hours um, and I just became fascinated with cryptozoology when um, you hear stories of some of these animals being found alive out in the middle of Congo and things like that um, off the coast of Africa the coelacanth, the giant prehistoric fish was discovered in the 20s and um, you know, since then they've pulled many of them out of the rivers. Um, but this thing supposedly died out 65 million years ago. And so when you find out that these things do happen and there are stranger elements to the world, I got just absolutely drawn into it since childhood and uh, became fascinated with it. So everything I've done since has always had that element of the unusual or the... Um, let's just say I, don't, I really don't enjoy painting bowls of fruit, you know, because you can see that every day. <laughs> Um, that was right. for me. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much where I came from. Is um, pushing the envelope really uh, since childhood of finding whatever weirdest thing I could possibly find out. Like what you heard? Well, head on over to www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash this uncanny earth to hear more from this episode 181, an interview with Sam Sheeran. And to hear more episodes of This Uncanny Earth. As always, stay uncanny.